Welcome to today's video. Today, what we will be doing is putting drip rails on the Silverado. For those that are just watching this and are new to the channel, this is a 1979 K1500 Silverado. And I bought it without the drip rails on it. It was primered when I bought it. And today we're going to put them on. You will need screws. We found some online. They were $1.50. And these ones are specifically for like a 74 to an 84. There are certain years that you must have. You will also need a quarter inch wrench. Also, you will need the drip rail, which is up there. To kick things off, what you'll want to do is grab one of your screws or bolts. You'll want to hold your drip rail up against the side of your cab. I personally am not using anything that will hold it onto the cab like a double sided tape. I'm just using these screw bolts and you'll want to put it in the hole after you line it up and if you want to try and get it started to thread by hand sometimes you can sometimes you can sometimes you can't and then you want to take your little wrench and you kind of just want to you want to push against the screw while tightening it <clears throat> so it'll get started and you know it won't fall out You don't want to tighten these up just yet. You want to get this one in and make sure that it's holding before you start with your other one so you can get all the holes lined up. Also, I'm up above my truck because it's easier to start the top ones first, which I've already got two in, than it is to start at the bottom and try and have it go everywhere. So, after you get another one in, which that one didn't quite go in. The second time it didn't. After you get a few of them in, and I'm going to just try this one with the wrench, then you will want to move on to the ones below. And after you get all of them just slightly tight in there, you want to make sure your door doesn't interfere with them. Even though I don't think that the door sits that high on these trucks I would just make sure it doesn't anyways because then you won't have to undo it after you you know already do it after you have all the screws in what you will want to do is to just nice and easily Tighten them up one at a time and you don't want to tighten them too tight remember it's just it's just going into that metal there so what I've done is kind of just gone about like so that one doesn't feel like it's too great in there after all the person that had this before me did kind of mess with them a little bit this one is slightly stripped like see that the weight of the wrench kind of just well a little bit more than the weight of the wrench but that one came back out so what I'm saying is you want to go really easy like that one there that's as far as I want to go with it this one it's gonna go a little bit because it still has a tiny gap at the bottom Like that. I don't trust it to go any further. Thank you. 
and that's as tight as I would take that. So, after you get done, you get to step back and admire your work. And just look at that. It just kind of more, you know, trying to complete the truck. So, I think it looks a lot better. If you enjoyed this video, do drop a thumbs up below and subscribe for more car content. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.